As you know from the other courses, the Calypso pattern is very popular. We learned two different versions in the basic course as well as the not so basic course. Now we're going to learn how the Calypso pattern can be applied to ghost note strumming. To start with this, we're going to look at just what a standard Calypso pattern looks like with eighth notes. Now you'll notice on this graphic, we are only strumming on the accented beats of one, the and of two, and four. That is what creates a Calypso feel, that sort of one and two and three and four and. Now when we apply this to 16th notes, it becomes a little bit different. Looks something like this. Now notice I'm only using misses right now for anything that's not one of those accented beats. So there's a lot of missing going on. You can see it's essentially down, miss, 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 down, miss, 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 down, miss, miss, miss. That would not be very much fun to play, but you can see it's giving that same calypso feel by having that down strum on one, the and of two, and four. What's really unique about this is if you look back to the eighth note pattern, you'll notice that and of two is an up strum, and that's different than the sixteenth note pattern, which looks like this, where we have one, and of two now being a down strum, and then the four. Now as we're working on this, we can start to implement strums on ups as well as ghost notes to create a nicer feel, and we can end up with something that looks about like this. This is one of my favorite calypso patterns to play with ghost note strumming. You'll see now it's down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up. Let's go ahead and try it a couple times together. For this, we're going to use a chord that I really love. I call this a G5 chord. All that you'll do is take your index finger, put it on the second fret of the C string, middle finger, place it on the third fret of the E string, and finally your pinky goes on to the fifth fret of the A string. So let's go ahead and try this nice and slow. Down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up. Now what you'll notice with this pattern is it's especially difficult because it's kind of a set of three, a set of three, and then a set of two. That's what makes this pattern really, really tricky for people when they're first learning it. Because it's hard to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. It feels really odd. And so it takes some practice to get comfortable with the rhythm. You're naturally going to want to just keep doing the sets of threes. So when you start practicing this, you'll notice that you're going to want to do something like this. Down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up. But that last ghost up, totally wrong. So we want to make sure we're always cutting it on that two in terms of two beat boxes worth for the down, up, ghost, up. Let's go ahead and try it a little bit faster, still with that chord. Down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, up, ghost, up. So the trick to this, like all ghost note patterns, is speed. There's 16th notes that are being played. So at that speed that we just played, it feels pretty fast already, right? But if I'm counting this, that's one E and a two E and a, that's actually not that fast. When we think about that's one, two, three, four, it's pretty slow. So the trick to ghost note strumming, again, is to keep increasing that speed. If I were to snap my fingers at more of a reasonable rate for a song, something like this. One, two, three, four. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. You can see that there's a lot more strumming going on. So let's go ahead and try the same pattern closer to full speed. Now 
what's fun about this is using misses, we can alter this Calypso pattern just a little bit. So let's call that first Calypso pattern, we'll call it Calypso A, and we'll call this one Calypso B. All that we're going to do is add more of an emphasis to the parts that make a Calypso pattern sound unique. That is beats one, the and of two, and four. By removing the upstrums that occur immediately after the down, we bring more focus to the downstrums. Instead of being down, up, ghost, up, ghost, up, it would end up being something of down, miss, ghost, up, ghost, up. You'll see that that down is now more pronounced simply because there's no sound coming after it. If we do this for the full pattern, we'll see it looks something like this. Down, miss, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, miss, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, miss, ghost, up. It still has that feeling of sets of three and then a set of two, but the big difference is by missing after that downstrum, it feels a little different in terms of how you play it, and it sounds just a little bit different because of the more emphasized downstrum. Let's go ahead and try it nice and slow. Down, miss, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, miss, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, miss, ghost, up, down, miss, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, miss, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, miss, ghost, up. Let's go ahead and try it a little bit faster. Now let's go ahead and look at it at full speed. Again, 16th notes move pretty quickly. So this is what it sounds like when you're playing it at a nice quick tempo. And those are your Calypso patterns for ghost note strumming. Thank you so much for attending today's workshop. I had a lot of fun and I hope you learned something involving how to strum an ukulele and at least learned a different way to relate to some rhythm concepts. Be sure to check out the link below to see where you can purchase all four of the modules in this strum course. And I can't wait to see you in the courses to come.